Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. This is our weekly spotlight stream, where we like to show off new games that are just coming out into the industry, especially on Kickstarter. And tonight, we are doing New World Magiscola House Rivalry. Uh, but first off, who are we? I'm Matt. I'm Anne. And we are joined today with our special guest, Mike. Say hi, Mike. Hi. <laughs> How you doing today, Mike? I'm doing okay. How are you guys doing? Fantastically. Uh, so, first and foremost, before we go any farther, we would like to point out that this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by New World Magiscola House Rivalry, as well as Level, ni level 99 Games with Millennium Blades. Uh, so, where were we before? We are going to go into starting to talk about the actual game itself. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, we were talking a little bit about the sorting app or poll that was on your guys' website. And that was a whole lot of fun. So we got our houses in order for how we want to play. Uh, but it's basically, you could choose whatever one you want when you're starting the game, right, Mike? Right. Uh, yes, you can choose your house. There's also a bunch of characters you can choose from as well. All right. And do you recommend uh, us choosing those randomly or finding one that we particularly bond with? or? I, I think you should choose one you particularly bond with. What, what were the results of the quiz? Uh, I wound up with Dan Obia. So if that tells you how this stream is going to go tonight. And I I got House Croton. Uh-huh. Um, well, they're both, they're both good houses. Um, <laughs> uh, one, one mark, I was the faculty advisor for House Croton. High five! Uh, and designer, <laughs> high five. And the designer of the game was from House Obia. So those are perfectly good houses. Those are the good houses to be in. I feel like House Croton is the better house to be in, I'm just saying. I don't know if the game designer yeah. was in... But Mike was the faculty advisor, so... I mean, I guess I can't really say anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Mike, do you want to take us through uh, how the game is actually set up? And we'll transfer over with some studio magic now into the board cam. Do it. Do more studio Do it. Magic. There we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's like magic. It took Mike's. Uh, so the, game is, uh, the game is played in rounds, and in each round you have a number of phases. Uh, you have your play mat in front of you, and then you will also have a character that you're going to put in the uh, space for in the upper right. And your uh, play mat uh, will have an ability for your house, which will uh, usually be something good, and then it'll also have some sort of um, uh, drawback with your house that is. Some one type of class your house isn't good at, and then the character will also give you a special ability of some sort. Um, in each round, there are several phases. There's the upkeep phase. Um, you can see that there are four different kinds of cards there. Am I going too fast or not? No, 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 you're good. Okay, so there are four different kinds of cards. Um, there are the uh, course cards and the um, club cards, and those are the courses that you're going to need to uh, take to get your uh, grades up. And then there are conjure cards, and those are cards that you will, uh, those are spells you can cast on each other. And then in the upper right there are the Magiscola cards, which is an event that will happen from New World Magiscola. So during the upkeep, everyone gets to draw a conjure card. You're going to start with a few conjure cards, and the number you start with is the number in the bottom right of your character card. Uh, it looks like you have Juniper Williams up there, and I think she starts with two. That she does, so I'm going to have two. And these are uh, knowledge to me, or are these unknown? Yeah, you can look at them. Okay. Um, so during the upkeep phase, you would each draw a conjure card, and then if you have cards in play that do something during upkeep, you would also um, do that then. And then you're both going to secretly choose an action. There are three possible actions to choose, um, enroll, study, and conjure. And so enroll will let you enroll in courses and clubs. Study will let you um, uh, improve your grades and or spend time in those courses and clubs. And then conjure lets you cast the spells. Uh, when you do, when, when you choose an action, everyone will get to do that action. You get to do the uh, the selected version of the action because you're the one who chose it, mm -hmm. and then everyone else will do the routine version of the action. 
So if you select um, enroll, for example, you'll get to draw three cards and choose one to put into play, but it, everyone else will still also get to choose one card to put into play if they want. They don't have to put it into play. Gotcha. Uh, and I'll come back, back to the actions in a moment. After the action phase, uh, there is the Magiscola phase. That's uh, when you're going to uh, draw a mag the, the wand bearer, who is sort of like the first player. Um, have you chosen a wand bearer? And Par That's yeah, how so we choose it. <laughs> Who's the wand? Yep. Um, so Anne will get to draw and read a Magiscola card and do what it says. This is our wand. That is the best wand ever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then uh, after the magic school phase, time passes, uh, and you will uh, remove time from all of your cards, and uh, um, then the wand will pass to the next person. Uh, now I'm going to go into a little more detail. Um, you should have all started with one course in play, and that course is called uh, Magical Theory and uh, Ethics of the Arcane. And it's sometimes called Magical Theory on uh, other cards because Magical Theory and Ethics of the Arcane is a very long phrase. Uh, so when you choose and roll, you're going to choose three cards either from courses or clubs and put one of them into play, and everyone else gets to choose one card from courses and clubs and put it into play. If when you, you choose a course to if yes. you are drawing three courses and or club cards, must they all be club or course, or can it be a combination of? You can mix or match okay. however you want. Okay. Good question. Um, so you're going to start with Magical Theory and Ethics of the Arcane. When you put a course into play, so you can do this now as, as I explain it, um, every course has a number of time cubes that you put on it, and you know that number because it's in the bottom right in that sand timer. Okay. Um, so you can put so you put ten time cubes on that. Uh, courses also have um, uh, icons on them, and those are the yellow icons in the left uh, bar, and that tells you. Um, so different courses will have different icons, and your um, house will have uh, different reactions with different courses. So Dan Omeo, what does it say? Uh, regarding courses for you. Uh, where would it's in the top of the card? It's yeah, it's directly above the scroll. So I have minus two grades in magical ethics. So you have grade cubes there? Uh yes I do. Uh, uh, grade markers. So you would normally start with a C in whatever class you do, but because you're Dan Obey, you're gonna start two below that. So Dan Obey isn't really that great with ethics. So you're failing ethics right now. That sounds about right. Yes, and um, Calisela should check the same. I don't know if Calisela has anything specific with ethics or not, or specific with any courses. I don't have that in front of me right now. So how about you, Anne? What is your, because you're ha playing House Croatan, right? Yeah, so if we're okay, okay, I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, so, I have two things to uh, ask about this because I have unsoiled privilege. So every time you may draw a conjure card, draw two cards and choose one to keep and one to discard. Does that include the uh, initial conjure card because of my character? No, that is specifically during upkeep. Okay. No, and that is only during upkeep. Okay. So then uh, at start, I get minus two grades in any mundane courses. And there's an icon on here. Um, I don't know if you could just put that sure little thing. bit on top, and it looks like some sparkles uh, with a line through it. Right. So any course that has that symbol in yellow, you would start at minus two grades. And that's Magical the third. Theory and ethics, sorry. No, no worries. That's the third symbol from the top, which is grayed out yes. on Magical Theory and Ethics of the Arcane. So this does not apply for this class. So oh, I will start, start with, with a C. This? Yep. There you go. This is about right. All right, so is there anything else you want to review on the course card here, Mike? Um, uh, bring it up, Mike. Uh, so some courses will have some sort of ability. Magical 
theory in particular if you fail it something happens but try not to fail it um, if you fail a course normally um, it normally you would put it back immediately into play with all the time cubes uh, magical theory you get to put it back into play with fewer cubes if you look at the bottom of the course you can see the various grades you have um, I'll talk a little bit about how time cubes are removed from the uh, cards but when the uh, cubes are removed, you check your grade. If it's an A plus, an A, or a B, you have passed the class and you're going to get house points. And if it's a C or D or F, then you have failed the class and you will lose house points. What do you currently have, pointing to me. <laughs> Matt didn't do his homework. Um, so the next thing, the, so, but do you basically understand how enroll works, at least for courses? I will probably ask you the question again as we play through, but you know yep. what they say, they being whoever, I don't know, uh, that the best way to learn a game is to play through it. Yeah. Um, with clubs, by the way, clubs don't have grades, but they will have time cubes. Clubs yeah. will give you some sort of special ability while they're in play. Uh, some of them uh, involve having to speak in rhyme or... or or whisper or sing, um, and some of them just do stuff. Uh, at the end of uh, when clubs leave play, you see the number uh, to the right of the uh, sand timer, you're going to get that many house points. So is that zero house points for this medieval literature club? Yes, but if you look at it, um, uh, you can see that it gives you a, bo a nice bonus while it's in play for uh, selecting the conjure action. So they're conjure cards and play one instead of playing any of your cards. Aha, that's cool. Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, that is an roll. The second possible action you have is study, and it's it's very simple. If someone else chooses study, then you can either increase your grade in a course or remove a cube from one of your time cube from one of your cards. So you're either spending time or you're increasing your grade. If you choose study, you can do that three times. Okay. Uh, and finally is conjure. Um, if, uh, when conjure is played, if you choose conjure, you can play up to two conjure cards, and they can be powerful cards. Can you show a couple of conjure cards? Sure. Sure can. Maybe shuffle them back in. Uh, so here is one. This is time magic miscalculation. So that is not a powerful conjure card. Powerful conjure cards will have a yellow flame symbol in the bottom right. Like the like cyclone and cauldron. One. Now we would like to point out that these symbols yes. down here, uh, most if they look a little translucent, they are yellow. They are currently green screening. Uh, so that's why they look a little transparent. So I apologize for that. Excellent. That's magic. It's magic. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so you... If you don't choose Conjure, you can play one Conjure card, and it can be one that does not have the flame on it. But if you choose Conjure, you get to play two Conjure cards, and they can have that flame on it. Some Conjure cards stay in play. They'll have a hand symbol on that if they stay in play. Uh, and some Conjure cards stay in play only for a few rounds, and they'll have a sand timer with uh, time cubes on it. And they could have time cubes removed from them just like any other card. Okay, so question for you here, is there a hand limit for the amount of conjure cards that you have? Yes, uh, if you, uh, for most people, your hand limit is six conjure cards that you can have in your hand and no limit in play. Shuffle. However, if you're um, Dan Obea, then your hand limit is five. So you can hold one fewer conjure card. But that's just because I'm so much better with them, right? You have to be nerfed. Yes, well, it's it's because you are particularly good at defending against conjure cards. If someone else plays a conjure on you that affects your grades or time, it affects you a lot less than it would someone else. Because I'm so smart. <laughs> so that's the ethics. Yes, except for ethics. Yes, except for ethics. All right, um, so those are all three actions. Then after that, you have the Magiscola phase. And with Magiscola, the wand bearer just reads the top part of the Magiscola deck um, and uh, does what it says. Sometimes it's something good, sometimes it's something bad. It's it's a little chaos that happens in a magic school. So that's an example of one there. And again, it's green screening a lot because you have a yellow border on the Magiscola cards. So we'll do our best to read them out loud. Uh, 
The wand bearer immediately finishes one of their clubs or equipped cards and gets all appropriate bonuses for finishing it. Can we make that one be the... Just yeah. put it on top. Just, just put nah, it on top. Nah, it's okay. <laughs> <coughs> and so are those always beneficial or are those have negative effects at times? And... Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Hmm. Uh, they're not always beneficial. Don't and let they don't Josh just them. affect the wand bearer either. Okay. And then finally, time passes. During time passes, you remove one of those time cubes from each of your cards. And if a card has no more time on it, uh, if it's a conjure card, it gets discarded. If it is a club, you score whatever it scores at the end uh, for finishing it. And then you tuck it. Uh, for clubs, you would tuck under your mat. And for classes, you would also score your grades and then tuck those under your mat. Because you want to keep track of the courses that you finish. You can't be in the same course or club at the same time, and you can't take a course that you have already passed. But you can take the same club several times if you manage to get that card. You just can't take them at the same time. Okay. okay. Um, and the game ends, though the, the game end is signaled when somebody has finished their um, required class, which is Magical Theory and Ethics of the Arcade, three other courses, and they can be any three other courses, and two clubs. Okay, so we have and to take... signals the end of the game. We're going to have to take Sorry. six... Uh, th- we're going to have to complete six tasks okay. altogether, four classes and two clubs yes. at a minimum. Yes. And that signals the end of the game. The game ends at the end of the round. And whoever has the most house points, house points are represented on that hexagon there. Everyone starts with seven house points. So if you have a, uh, you should have a little disc that you can use uh, to put on there that's your house color that you can put on there to indicate uh, your score. And then you should have another disc that is your house color and you'll put basically put that on one of the three boxes on your mat to uh, select uh, which uh, action choose. Ah, okay. Gotcha. All right. So then the other end condition is if someone reaches 100 house points first, correct? Yes. Yep. That also signals the end of the game. The game ends at the end of the round. All right. Fantastic. Is there anything else before we start uh, showing off our characters and getting into the gameplay? Um, I'm sure there are other little details, and uh, those will come up during gameplay, and I'll be happy to... Uh, Mention them when they do. Okay. Fantastic. So let me show off my character first. I am playing as Juniper Williams, and Juniper uh, is going to start with two of the Conjure cards in her hand. Uh, she's got a toy poodle. And uh, Charm, if Juniper is below top marks when she completes a course, she may gain plus one grade in that course before scoring. You're lucky that you have her as the character. There's a reason why I chose her. So how about you, Anne? Who are you playing? Well, you chose your character strategically. And you chose your character. Because it's got a dragon. (laughs) I have a special place in my heart for dragons, and they saw the blonde girl with the dragon, and that had to be me. You you, you should have put your hair up in a bun, Anne. I could. I don't have my hair tie. (laughs) Uh, Oh, I found it. Um, Oh, my character is a this could be you. Now, Mike, is this going to be a Kickstarter level? Is that what this is alluding to? Yes. Um, well, yes, except I think those levels are already sold out. Oh, wow. Unfortunately. That moved real so, quick. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, but we did have a Kickstarter level where people could create their own character and um, work with them to put a character history for their character. Oh, that's um, so cool. Oh, wow. But I think that's sold out. I can check very quickly. Yeah. But we still have ones that let you work with the designer to come up with uh, cards for the game. Those, I think, are still... Yeah, your likeness as a playable character is sold out, but there are several uh, design a card levels that are still available. That's really cool. So whoever the lucky person is for this... Uh, is going to have something called care packages. So draw a conjure card every time this person passes a course. Now, what is considered passing when all the time is gone? And you have a B uh, plus. Pass. And have a B. You pass a course. You have to have an A plus, A, or B. Those okay. are passing grades. Perfect. 
Also, the dragon's a cat, which I'm horribly allergic to, but I'm going to say because the dragon doesn't have any fur, that it's acceptable. Yeah. It's more about the it's, it's a magic cat, so it's, it's hypoallergenic. This is wonderful! <laughs> I love magic school! Um, question from chat, is there any Kickstarter exclusives? I don't think there are any Kickstarter exclusives. Um, I don't believe that we have anything that is exclusive to the Kickstarter backers. Um, we have an expansion, which is uh, Magical Creatures, but that's not exclusive. And we have some bonus cards, but I'm not sure that those are Kickstarter exclusive either. I'm, uh, so I'm going to have to say no. Okay. okay. So are you ready to start playing? I think so. I think so. So, all right. So I'm going to start because I speak softly and carry a big stick. It's an understatement. <laughs> uh, so Sorry. we're going to start with the upkeep uh, portion of the game. So I'm going to draw a conjure card, but because I have the special ability draw a conjure card every time. Oh, no, it's just the passing of a course. Uh, oh, because I have this unsoiled privilege, because I'm House Croatan, every time you may draw a conjure card, draw two and choose one to keep and one to discard. So if I discard, does it just go back to the beginning of the top pile, or do we have a discard pile? You should have a discard pile. Okay. So I get to look and at... And you should also draw a conjure card at this time, because oh, you can do a lot of parallel play. Gotcha. Ooh. <laughs> this is funny. I got a good one. At least I think it's a good one. So we're not going to be completely secretive because we want everyone to know kind of what our thought process is working at home, uh, even though we are very super duper highly competitive people. Uh, so Anne, what are you, uh, what oh, are you kind is... of thinking about in terms of your cards there? So I have two different kinds of cards. How much do you want to talk about here? I mean, just a brief overview. All right. And then when, they, when you play them, you could allude back to what you were discussing. I have an offensive card here and a defensive card here. Um, and I'm considering who I'm playing with, and I think I'm going to take the defensive card. Yeah, and so this is going to get discarded. How All about right. you? Uh, I don't have a choice. So, yay. <laughs> Do you get to draw two conjure cards each turn? No, I started with two. Oh, that's why you've started. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So the next, uh, turn, next piece in the turn order, is the choice stage. So we secretly select an action and reveal them simultaneously. So the actions, just as a reminder, are the enroll, study, or conjure. And I'm going to take... Don't look at mine. <laughs> I'm going to take... Uh, in the study one... Is it plus three? Is it does it only apply to one course, or can you split that up? You can split that up. Okay. So, all right, I am going to take this one. Okay, and now we reveal simultaneously. So, I chose enroll. I chose uh, oops, study. I'm studious. Thank you very much. What was your thought behind choosing? I need study? to up my grade. So the reason that I asked I about whether it could be split up is because I feel like if I chose study right now, it would take me from a C to an A plus, and that's that's nice. You don't want to be an overachiever, though. I would rather use that on more courses. I see how it is. Yeah. So I chose uh, to enroll, so I get to draw three course and or club cards and play one and discard the rest. So I think... Also, I kind of figured you were going to do that, and because you played that, I get to do the routine for that. Correct, Mike? Yes. So I was going to say, once Anne had drawn her cards, Matt, you can go ahead and draw a club or a course card, and you can put it into play if you want. So do I get to do the routine for your study? Is that how that you works? You sure do. Yes, you'll get to do the routine for your study, and since nobody chose Conjure, Conjure won't happen this round. Okay. So. so I've got a question for you, Mike. On the uh, study one, it says three plus grades and then a slash and then minus time. So does that mean you have to either choose to up a grade or reduce the time or do both happen? Uh, you can 
you get to up a grade or remove a time, and you can do that thing three times. Through multiple courses as well. Yes, so yeah, it doesn't have to be courses. It could be uh, you can remove time from clubs or other card or, or conjure cards you have in play. Okay, fantastic. Are you okay there, Anne? She's having all the analysis paralysis right now. Okay, I got three really good cards. I have to do that one. But one of these <laughs> is going to be really funny, and I want to do it. So I'm going to discard. Oh, man, that's this is tough because you don't just get to reshuffle like cool cards. Like They'll come back later. Uh, so there's two of each course and two of each club in the decks. Okay, all right. So I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit better about that then. So Anne, what did you take? I took debate club. Give it to Matt. Let's show it off in the chat view here. Debate club. So what is that, Anne? Wrong. Thirty ethical and political issues need discussing. Philosophize. Pontificate. Gesticulate. While enrolled, you earn plus five house points each upkeep phase. Ooh. However, yeah. you must begin everything you say with the word wrong. If another player catches you not doing this, minus three house points for each infraction. Now, is this, <laughs> of course, the plan. Um, can you be more specific about, and I'm guessing that this is kind of open to house rules, but... How, where's the beginning of something? Like, if it's a phase, must I must I start like the first thing I say during a phase must be wrong. Every time I say a start, like a paragraph, we, must I say wrong? Well, we tend to play it that it is every time it, between when someone else speaks and you speak, or if you speak okay. and then nobody speaks for a while and then you speak. Um, uh, but this is. Perfectly dependent on uh, what the uh, what the group decides as well. Very cool. All right, so I'm looking forward to uh, how that's going to go, in. Wrong. I'm looking forward to how it's going to go. Uh, I, I bet you feel really good about that. <laughs> and what's the uh, the time on that? That is a time of three. Wrong. The time. <laughs> You know, Anne, I really always thought you were a really nice person. Wrong, I am a fantabulous person! <laughs> so you can put your time cubes so, on that one there, Anne. Yep. And, and, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have picked up the course Ritual Magic. <laughs> Uh, so this is endgame plus two house points for each dark course or club that I have completed. Uh, this is a five time, and there we go. That's Ritual Magic. So I've got uh, five time on that one. I start myself with a C on it. And, uh, is that an ethics class? Oh, is that an ethics? What constitute? which symbol yeah. is the ethics? Uh, ethics specifically refers to magical theory and ethics of the arcane, so you're fine for everything else. Okay, perfect. So it's just the starting class I have very low interest in. Yes. Wrong. You have yes. low interest in so many more things. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing you'll, you'll see with ritual magic is that it gives you a bonus at the end of the game for specific symbols. Mm -hmm. So there is a little bit of set collecting there as well. <laughs> Uh, I don't know which particular symbol Ritual Magic gives you uh, offhand. It's the little uh, skull head, so it's the dark courses and clubs. Yeah, so all of your dark courses will be worth extra points <coughs> at the end of the game. Very cool. Uh, so I did the routine for that one, so now it's on to the action that I picked. I got plus three uh, to either grades or minus to time. Uh, and then, Anne, you get plus one to a grade or minus one to a time of your choice on your cards. You good with that? Wrong. I don't need you mansplaining to me <laughs> how to play this game. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to increase my grade from an F to a D to a C to a B in my magical theory and ethics class. So now I don't feel quite as bad about that. Um, hmm. 
So I think that's both of ours. Uh, both of us have done our actions phase there, so it's time for the Magiscola phase. So wand bearer, if you will. What does it say? Wrong. All students attended their house parties. Matt, <coughs> over here saying that not all people. Put it in the. Wrong. Don't me explain to me how to do this. Roll a die. One, uh, one to four. No time passes. Phase this round due to hanging over. Five movement normal. Six. One player cannot hold their alcohol. One bear chooses a player to skip their time. Uh, time passes. Phase this round. So since this is a two-player game, it'd be you. Are you sure? Yeah. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say wrong. That's minus three points, right? That's what the card says. You talk too much. There you go. You're at four points now. Go ahead, Anne. Roll the die. Wrong. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> A six. What does that do? Wrong. One player named Matt cannot hold their alcohol. Juan Bear chooses Matt to skip their time passes phase this round. Oh, darn. Wrong, that's so much green screen. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of green screen going on. Uh, so that is the Magiscola phase. So now it's time passes, but no time passes for me. I stay forever young. So Anne would remove a cube from each of her cards. Wrong, Mary Bob wants to know if it's possible to go negative in house points. No, uh, lowest you can go is one. Oh, not even zero. <coughs> not even zero. So there's there's hope, Anne. There's hope for you. Uh, so time has passed, and now it is time for the uh, the upkeep. First, I need my wand. <laughs> Please and thank you. Thank you so much, Anne. Uh, okay, so it is the upkeep phase, so I believe you get some bonuses for your card here, right, Anne? Wrong! Don't mansplain this again to me! I'm just making sure that uh, you're getting your points there. Wrong! While well, enrolled, you earn plus five house points each upkeep phase. Right, and we're in the upkeep phase. Correct, Anne? You're not blue. You are red, not blue. There you go, so... You got your five points there. Upkeep phase, we're going to draw a conjure card and perform upkeep actions on your cards in play. So let's draw some conjure cards. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to keep that one. That's for sure. Ooh, I like that. I am going to... Okay, so I'm, I'm good there. So it is time for choice. So we're going to secretly choose. Wrong. It's not time for choice because I have not finished my upkeep phase. Thank you, analysis paralysis. Apologize for this. What else do you have to do for your upkeep phase? Wrong. I need to decide which one of my conjure cards that I want to keep you and which one I want to discard. the worst house for her AP. Yeah, she really did. <laughs> it's, the, it's the decision house <laughs> for one that cannot make one. Wrong. I make decisions all the time, very effectively. I think I could debate that point. <laughs> Just point to her now. So, Anne, what is the thought processes going through your head? Wrong. My, I have to wait the ten turns in order for this class to be completed. Correct, Mundo. Uh, you can remove time during study. Oh, that's true. Yes. Lower the time. So you're studying and doing your coursework all that much quicker, Anne. Good to go. So one thing I forgot to mention about um, Conjure, because it sometimes makes a difference. Uh, when you play Conjure, it goes in order from Wand Bearer to the other person who is not Wand Bearer. Uh, so even if Anne chooses Conjure, this round, Matt would still be the first to play the Conjure cards. Okay. Sometimes it makes a difference, sometimes it doesn't. Gotcha. So now we're going to do our choice selection. So I'm going to be placing mine, and you could be placing yours. Don't look at what I'm doing. It's a super secret. I'm looking at yours because I already chose. It doesn't matter. Whatever will she do? No, I wouldn't do that. 
You can do a poll on what Anne's going to choose. Uh, <coughs> we're going to clear up a contest to see who's going to win. Uh, I think the winner here is all of us. Because we're learning magic. Wrong! Can you combine grades and time the same way you combine courses and clubs? He said that already. Yes, you can. I asked him because I was doing that the first round. At least I was, like, I didn't I, I didn't actually do it, but I was just curious if it was an option. Uh, so I played Conjure. Since I'm the Wand Bear, we're going to go first. So I may play up to two Conjure cards. And, and you could play one regular Conjure card. So it cannot be a powerful Conjure card. So... Wrong. Do I get to know what conjure... Never mind. I'm going to play the common spells of the Magimundi, and that is going to be a time five conjure card where during the time passes, passes phase, I get to do minus one time to all of your dark courses and clubs. So that's both of them for now. So that goes there. I need five of the, uh, the counter tokens there, Anne. That's more than five, but thank you very much. Wrong. Again. I don't think I am. Well, I don't know. Okay. And then I'm also, because I get to play two, I'm also going to play uh, the Fae Queen's Plaything. So that's another conjure card there. So I'm going to get plus one grade to all of my dark courses and clubs. So I'm going to go from a B to an A in my Magical Theory and Ethics, and I'm going to go from a C to a B in my Ritual Magic class. And that gets discarded then. So, Anne, how about you? What are you playing this time? Wrong, Matthew. Mm -hmm. I'm playing right answer. <laughs> My God. <laughs> right answer. So that is... Wrong. This attaboy is nice. The house points are better. Score five house points, then roll a die. On a four to six, put this card back in your hand. That's nice. <clears throat> so five house points takes you from... Wrong, 14. What? What? Oh, it takes you from nine to f okay. I'm having trouble wrong. processing you're what you're saying. You're very confused yes. by the wrong in front of everything yes. I have to say. That's a three, so you don't get the card back. Wrong! Wrong! <laughs> so wrong! I think it's right. All right, so that was your uh, routine. <coughs> what wrong. is your selected? Wrong. My selected is study. I'm going to get uh, three plus grades or minus time to your cards in play. I will use my two of those to change my grade from a uh, B to an A plus and use my additional one to remove one time token off of my card. <laughs> Wrong, which brings me to eight points, uh, eight time tokens on my magical theory and ethics of the arcane. Okay, so I'm going to use that opportunity to up my grade uh, from an A to an A plus in my magical theory Wrong and ethics why? class because I get to do the routine. So you may play. I'm sorry. You may uh, do plus one grade or minus one time to one of your cards in play as a response to that. So that was all of our actions there. So it's the Magiscola phase, and I'm the wand bearer this time. So let's see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm on a snipe hunt apparently. So all students may draw a course or club. If it has an animal icon, they may enroll in it. Otherwise, it is discarded. So I'm going to draw a club. And it does have an animal. It is the Medi Medieval Literature Club. So the Medieval Liter Literature Club. If you play the conjure action, you may choose another player, look through their conjure cards, and play one instead of playing one of your cards. You may only play one conjure card the round you do this. So this has a three time on it as well. And look at that, it's a dark course also. I'm gonna put that there. I need three time tokens. And uh, that so is the end of it. During the LARP we uh, had these things which are called snipes. And uh, there are, we had thousands of them, and they infested the campus. And <laughs> they sort of became an unofficial mascot. Wrong! Those are trebles. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like trebles? <laughs> nice try, Anne. Uh, so that's the Magic Skull of Fate. So time passes. Now we're going to remove one time cube from all cards in play. Uh, I am going to move an extra one time cube from all of my courses and clubs because they are all... Uh, dark courses. 
Yay! Ben, uh, you suck. Thank you. And it's time for me to pass the wand! There you go. Such a loving, caring wand bearer. Wand bearer. Wrong! I is a mama. Wand bear, yes. Wrong, we begin the next turn. So, upkeep phase. <clears throat> so, draw your conjure card. Wrong. Upkeep phase, I'm the debate club. First, I get my points. You do. You just get a lot of points from that. It's like a really good card right there. Wrong, it is really <laughs> difficult to keep up. Yeah. Wrong, it reminds me of Twistosity. I could imagine if you were doing this with a real, like a, a full party of five, that would be a real bear, if you will. Wrong. You'd have less opportunity to speak. Oh, and... not you. <laughs> <laughs> there are there are other cards like that to other clubs. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to ruin the surprise. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm I'm super curious now. All right, so I'm gonna draw my one conjure card here. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Cool. Okay, so I am ready with mine, and have you made your decision? Wrong. I have made my decision. <laughs> okay, so it's time for the choice phase. Choices, choices, and choices, choices. So I'm going to select mine. Please don't look. You can select yours now. Cough, cough. <coughs> so what are you doing, Anne? Wrong. I'm going to do conjure. All right. So the conjure phase, you are the wand bearer, so you go first. So you get to play two conjure cards from your hand, uh, or they could be regular or powerful. Wrong. I'm going to start off with this card. So the trick wand. <coughs> And the trick wand is... Wrong. You need to read that. Worst day ever. Choose a player. Discard two conjure cards from your hand. Wrong. Give it back to me. Wrong. I don't have two conjure cards to discard. That's why she wanted me to read it. So I could tell her why it was a bad decision. Wrong, I'm backing up and changing my choice. Whatever will you do now? Wrong, I'm going to enroll. She does this. She, she oopsie daisies. It's fine, it happens. So you get to draw three courses or club cards, and you may play one and discard the rest. So you're going to take, what, two, three courses? Not what you take. I'm going to take a club. <laughs> yep, I, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this. Nice. I'm doing Disciplinary tribune, Tribunal. Uh, you're one of the special few to be selected by faculty to hear cause and of, al of alleged violations of school rules. Uh, who did you bribe to gain admission? When another player plays a second conjure card in a round, they lose two house points. So that's going to go right there. Got my club. It's going to get four time cubes on it. And that's good to go. All right, so, and how about you? What are you selecting? You've got uh, your choice of three there. Wrong. I really have been drawing all the mat cards. It goes very well with my house and everything, like the ritualistic, you know, magic and the uh, medieval lit literature club. So I'm like a host, right? It's a thing. It's totally a thing. And what are you choosing? Wrong. I'm choosing Merfolk Weaving Arts. So Merfolk Weaving Arts. Would you care to read that, please? Wrong. Play this course on another student. This course cannot be dropped. Keep the card when completed. If it is not completed at end game, minus six house points. That's interesting. And what's that symbol in the bottom right-hand card? It's supposed Wrong. to be... Wrong. It's really green screen. You might want to yeah, put it up on it's... this camera. Well, you can see it there. It's, it's a yellow P. Uh, that is a promo card. Um, so you are. It, 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 uh, I do, it, we've been giving them out at conventions and such. All right. Very cool. I can't hear you. So I'm going to get it's, this. It's weird. I'm getting whatever I'm talking through my headphones like a minute later or a few seconds later. Oh, he's getting what we were doing. 
Yeah, yeah that's, that's what we were getting on our end. We apologize about that. Uh, I need a few more cubes. I'll just steal one of yours. That's fine. So I have my four cubes on that one. You got a lot of stuff I'm taking right now. You are a bad student, man. Look at this. I'm just like, stuff's going on. And, uh, so that was your action. You completed it. So it's now mine. I'm going to play my uh, conjure action. However, uh, since I'm in a medieval literature club, I'm going to play the conjure action from yours. Thank you, Anne. I appreciate that. So let's see what you have here. Hmm. You can talk while I read through these, Anne. Please and thank you. I appreciate it. And what did you have in your hand? Wrong. I had three cards that Matt now knows all about. And I had a really good one that I almost tried to play on him, but I couldn't do it. But I guess if the card says that you must discard something from your hand, then he's not discarding... Is he going to discard something from my hand, or must he discard something from his hand in order to be able to perform the action? Uh, he would discard it from his own hand. Mm -hmm. Wrong. That's so good. That's fine. Um, hmm. Keep talking, Anne. Wrong. I have a card on there that says know it all, and I think that if you roll a certain die, it gets to go back to your hand. So wait, uh, no, that I says I have to- Wrong! Hold on, no, I don't think I can do this. So I have to play a card from her hand, correct? Uh, this is Judiciary, uh, the, the, which club is this again? Um, medieval Literature? Medieval Literature, so I have to play a card, so I can't steal her Choco Cadabra Bar. No, I can't, no, you play the card. Okay. So you could play her Choco Cadabra Bar, but that would be really do much. Right. Wrong! That would be the perfect move to make right now. So I'm going to play Know-It-All. So I get to roll a d6 now. So what Know-It-All is going to do is, if I roll a 1, I get minus 3 house points, put it back in my hand. Wrong! It goes back in, in my hand. In my hand. If I'm discarding from my hand, it would be that this card would go back to my hand. Right, Mike? Goes back to, goes back to Matt's hand. <gasps> Wrong! You are a jerk! <laughs> That's a five. I just get plus five house points, and this card gets discarded. Boop. Okay, so... I got some points. I got some points, finally. Uh, so I'm at 13. And that is the end of that. So that was my turn. Uh, and you get to play a Contra card from your hand. Wrong, I can't. You can. Wrong, I cannot. You can play the Choco Cadaver Bar. Wrong, I can't. You can, just won't do anything. All right, so uh, that is the end of that then. So it is time for the Magiscola phase. So Anne, can you please do the Magiscola card? Draw a Magiscola card and play it. Wrong, I hate you. So what is it? Let's show it off in the chat. Come on. Uh, it's T for two. Oh, how lovely, T for two. The wand bearer Wrong. chooses another student to take on a date. <laughs> Wrong. Worst date ever. <laughs> the two of them share a treat, and when a professor notices them having friendly interactions with one another, awards each of their houses five points for inter-house peacekeeping. We both get five points. Boop, 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 boop. So you're still six points ahead of me. One, two, three, four, five. So you're at 24 points. I'm at 18 points. Or whatever. Something like that. 18? 18. 18. <laughs> So thank you, I appreciate the points, Anne. Thank you so much. Uh, so now time passes, remove one time cube from all cards in play. So I'm gonna remove two time cubes from all of my dark courses, which is everything but the merfolk weaving arts, which I think is really funny because that's a, an, uh, an ode to the joke of the classical, what are you gonna take in college, underwater basket weaving? No, you don't find that funny? Okay, never mind. I think it's hysterical. So I'm losing two from that, and I'm losing... Oh, this one goes away. Wrong. Where does a club go when you're completed it? In your hand? Uh, no, nope. you're going to tuck it under your sheet right here. Can you do something about that, Josh? Thank you so much. All right, so uh, I completed my one club. So I can't steal your cards anymore. So you should be happy about that. I can't steal your conjure cards. Are you happy? Wrong. Just in case 
the time is enough. I've completed my debate club, which means I can now talk like a normal human being. As normal as you could before. Let me try. Mumble, mumble. Mumble, mumble. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of the time passes phase. I need my wand. Oh, sorry. Came a little perilously sorry. close to the, uh, the money maker here. Sorry. That's yours. Is this mine? So it is time for the upkeep phase, so I'm going to draw first. So Anne, feel free. And, ooh. Hmm. That's cool. <coughs> Not a huge fan of that one, so that's okay. So I have my choice, and you need to choose which one. Oh, you did that really quick. That was good. Yeah, mine's everything. So now we're going to choose our uh, action here. So what am I going to do? Oh, I didn't put a great one on this. And I'm going to do that. Don't look. You're not supposed to see Anne. That's against the rules. Have you chosen your... I've chosen... So uh, I chose study. What did you choose? I'm choosing conjure. All right. So study, I go first. I'm going to get plus three or three to either plus grades or minus time of my choice. So I am going to go from B to A to A plus on this one. So that's two. And then for the third one, I'm going to go from C to B on my underwater basket weaving, merfolk weaving arts. And because I get routine, I get to either plus one grade or minus one time to one of my cards in play, so I'm going to take that off of my magical theory and ethics of the arcane. Very good. So now you are going to do your conjuring. Yes, so I may play up to two conjure cards, regular and or powerful. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, with my current hand, I can't play the two, but I can play the one that I really did want to play. Uh, and this is actually an equip card. So contraband familiar. Oh, you got yourself a dragon. Oh, that is a great <laughs> dragon. Cute. Can you put him up here? Just because he's so cute, I don't want him to be... Whoa. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, I forgot it's upside down. So it is a little pretty green dragon. That's Anne's. Uh, so, Mr. Dragon here. Uh, you can't resist those eyes. You sneak the little guy back to your room, and he weasels his way out on nearly nightly basis. For each upkeep, roll a die. If I roll a one to three, he brought you back a present. Draw a conjure card. If I roll a four or a five, he didn't get out. Plus one grade minus time to one of your cards in play. A six, I'm caught. Plus three house points for helping, but discard this card. That's a really nice card. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that gets five time tokens on that. Okay. So he's only there for a limited amount of time before he gets too big and you have to... Let him free. He grows up from, from a little baby dragon. They and grow up so him. fast. So that's the only action you can play there? That's correct. Okay, so I've got the ability to play one conjure card of my choice now. So... Hmm. That works. I'm not gonna play that yet now. No, not yet. I'm going to... Matt always makes me so nervous. You should be. I'm not gonna play anything. No, I am. I am. I'm gonna play Call On Me. So Call On Me, I get to roll a d6. I'm gonna gain five points automatically. So I'm gonna go from 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 to 23. So I'm right behind you. And then I'm going to roll a d6. Having all the answers doesn't earn you any popularity oh, points, but you're, really just in, but you're really just in it for the house points anyway. I rolled a 6. Put this card back in your hand. So I get those 5 points, and I have the ability to play that again in the future. That's Crawl. That's Crawl? Cool. Crawler. I hate you. Uh, so that was all of our actions, correct? Yes. So I'm the Wand Bear. Yes. Time for some Magiscola action. So Gorecasters. It simply isn't safe to play out to be out and about. All players must discard a club in play without finishing it. No time passes this round. I oh, don't man. have a club in play, so this doesn't impact me. Darn it. So the disciplinary tribunal goes away. I would have finished that this turn. Got a bunch of points for it. That's ugh. That's annoying. Oh well. So that actually worked out well for you. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, so now time passes. We're going to remove no. our... <clears throat> did the card say no time passes? Oh, I think oh. that's right. Yes it, yes, it does. No time passes this round. Okay. So you're actually going to get the effects of your thing a little bit longer as well, then. That's really cool. Um, neato. So, Wand Bear? 
Wand Bear. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Or happy Christmas, if you will. Uh, okay, so upkeep turn, right? Yes, so now I get to start by rolling the die for my contraband familiar. Your dragon. For my dragon. Six. Six. Six! He goes away! You get three points, though. I hate One, you. One, two, three. He grew up really fast. I hate you. I hate you so much. And has all the food. No, the dragon ate all the food. I mean, she had it all. Had is the correct terminology there. All right, draw a conjure card and perform the upkeep actions and play. Okay, so I'm drawing my conjure card. Whoa! That's, uh, that's impressive. <laughs> I like that one. I'm really upset that the dragon is gone. You should be. You shouldn't be. Should be. Okay. So did you make your decision? Uh, yes, I did make my decision. All right. So uh, it's time for us to do our choice. So whatever will you choose, Anne? Okay, I've chosen. Huh. I'm trying to think of what I want to do. So the analysis paralysis backwards? It's real. Go ahead. What did you choose? I chose enroll. I did too! Hey! That was bad. Get two clubs. I could get two clubs. I can't get another class. Why not? You have three. It's max class. You can be enrolled in ten now. Is that right, Mike? Max class you can be enrolled in... <laughs> Maximum number of courses is three, but uh, the clubs are unlimited. Ah, okay. So I can't choose... Ugh, I get a bunch of clubs. So I'm going to choose one club. This is for Anne's. I'm going to choose one club. Do I want to play it? It's the Sapiens Advocates. <laughs> so you've joined the group who believes all creatures demonstrating sapiens must become protected species under Majimundi law, especially the Chupacabra. They're not dangerous. Give them a hug. When enrolled, minus, uh, minus one time in magical ethics during time pass, and plus one grades in magical ethics during upkeep. Oh, okay. I got the same one. Did you really? Yeah. No, oh, we're we're taking a class together. This Yay! is nice. You, you join the same club. Uh, yeah, we're taking a club together. I'm missing my glasses. So now it's vice versa. I'm gonna draw three clubs, and you get to draw one. And if you want, you can. That play was my one. one. No, you were supposed to do your oh, well, thing first. I did it. I did mine first, and then I did yours when oh, you were doing okay. yours. Okay. So I, chose, I chose ritual magic. Uh, cre uh, creating and following the magical recipes of ritual, including gestures, dance, music, geometric forms, location, timing, and sequencing. Understanding the power and intention behind magical rituals and how to personalize and perform rituals to achieve the desired effect. So at the end game, I get plus two house points for each dark course or club. Uh, and the course is five times. <laughs> I got two of the same card, and I I shouldn't play it on stream. And I'll show it off. And it is Obsidian Circle. While enrolled, earn plus five house points each upkeep, upkeep phase. However, you may only speak in a whisper. If any player catches you not whispering, minus three house points for each infraction. I am not going to do that for the stream. is because that is... That is bad. So I'm going to be doing the Disciplinary Tribunal again. Uh, so I'm going to get my four tokens on that. And that is when a player plays a second Conjure card in a round, they lose two points. And put uh, counters on your ah. stuffs. Stuffs and things. Okay. So that was all of the action phases. So now it's the Magiscola phase. And if you would be so kind. Please give me something good. Goose. So you got summer break. Woo! Minus one time to all moon courses. Do you have any moon courses? I do have a moon course. There you go. So you get minus one time. Is that for everyone or just for her, Mike? Oh, I forgot. That's all moon courses. Everyone. Oh, okay. So, oh, I just passed ritual magic. Thank you, Anne. Hate you. There you go. Thank you. So ritual magic I passed, and that is for the end game, I'm going to get plus two house points for each dark course or club. And I passed with an A+. Plus. So an A-plus means I'm going to get seven points. So, Anne, if you could please give me seven points. Why? You're closer to it. Because I'm busy doing other stuff. All right. So then it is end game time. Or not end game. Time passes time. Uh, so we all are going to remove one time from everything. I'm going to remove two time from each of my dark courses. One from this one. Two from this one. Two from this one. One from this one. Good to go. 
Okay, so I believe... Wait, I have. we have Sapiens Advocates. We sure do. So when enrolled minus one time in Magical Ethics during time passes. So that's an additional minus one time. And so then plus one grade in Magical Ethics during upkeep. But we both have A+. plus. Indeed. So it's time to go to the... Well, I need my wand. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so it's the upkeep phase. Uh, so we all get plus one grade. We're both at A+. plus in Magical Ethics, mm -hmm. but now draw your conjure. I'm going to go first. I am the wand bear. Go ahead. Ooh. So I have got a question for you here, Mike. If I have if I have a card that affects other students' grade or time, do I get to choose the effects or do they get to choose the effects, whether it be grades or time? Uh, it, it, defend it depends on the card. Um... Uh, probably you get to choose. Let me just put that there for you to see. Can you see that? Um, uh, that one, they get to choose. Okay, gotcha. They, yeah. They get to choose the course, but they still must lose it, yeah. Sounds good. All right, so Anne, are you ready? Yes, no, maybe. Yee. Yee. Yes. <laughs> Don't sound so confident there. Yes. That was a difficult choice. Okay, so I am going <laughs> to play... Uh, it's time for the choice. Okay. Your second choice of the evening, or the time right now. So go ahead. I picked mine. Did you pick yours? Um, Don't look at mine. You can't look at mine. I can look at your class. I'm not looking at your choice. Even though you already saw it, you big cheater. <sighs> cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. It's fine. It's fine. Even though you should be in, like, the Dan Ovea if you're going to be a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Okay. Okay, so I picked Conjure. Okay. And what'd you pick? I picked Study. All right, so I'm going to go first. Okay. So I'm going to Conjure, and I'm going to Conjure... The Jersey Devil. Okay. Uh, at any time. Oh, it's at any time. You may discard three conjure cards from your hand. When you do, the Jersey Devil rewards you with five points to you and minus three points to all other players. Then discard this card. Okay. So I'm going to go down three points from 27 to 24. Indeed. So I'm going to get rid of that one, that one, and uh, this one here. So I'm going to discard these three cards. Did you move me up? No. Can you please move me up five points? And then for my second card that I'm playing... Do I have something in fact if you play a second card you use points? Uh, if up? other players... Okay. Can you speak up a little bit while you're talking? You don't have the Whisper card. Um, I am going to play the Better Quill. So that gives me plus five to either grades or minus five to time, uh, distributed how I so choose. So I'm going to take... It's like a super study. Yeah, super study. So I'm going to take one cube off of that. I'm going to increase my grade from an B to an A+. Plus. That's three. Four. Five. And that will be the end of my quill. And Anne, you get to play one can conjure card from your hand. I'm going to play the Morphing Charm Mayhem. Morphing Charm Mayhem, what does that do? So if you get the charm just right, so if I roll a one, shut your mouth, don't say it. Uh, it's minus five house points to your house and put this card back into your hand. If it's a two to a three, a player of your choice loses five house points. Four, you lose three house points. Five, you lose five house points. Six, you lose seven house points. Oh. Roll six, roll six, roll six, roll six. One. Six! I lose seven house points. If I get the charm. So what am I at right now? Twenty. Okay. That's I could I could deal. So Anne, what did you do? You what did you did? What did you do? You did study, correct? What you done did. Uh, I did study. So I'm going to take the three no. I'm going to take two time off of magical theory and ethics of the arc. No, I'm going to take two off of that. I'm going to take one point, one time, off of Magical Theory and Ethics of the Arcane. 
Oh. I just realized that um, uh, merfolk, merfolk Weaving Arts is zero points for B, A, and A+, plus, so I wasted my quill on that. And then I'm going to use my other two to raise my grade in Ritual Magic from a C to an, uh, to an A. Okay. Very good. Yes. Yes. Very good. And now you get to plus one grade or minus one time. Um, do I have to do either? Just complete the class now. I, I guess. I, yeah, that's true. Um, hmm. I'm trying to see. You can also remove. I, I don't know what your blue cards are, but, maybe, but you can also remove cubes from them as part of study as well. Everything I kind of want to stay in play as long as possible. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll just take my cube off of the Merfolk Weaving Arts, so that goes away. I completed that class for a grand total of zero points. Um, but it counts towards your class total, right? Uh, does it yes. count? Yeah, it does. So I'm, yeah. I'm getting there. Um, and then I get to... So that's what I did. So now it's the Magiscola phase. I'm the wand bearer, so I'm going to do... Cat Scratch Fever. All students with cats as familiars must lose three house points as they what? take their cats to the, anim uh, the animal infirmary. Dang. So I'm at 21 points now. Haha. -ha. And now, most importantly... We're at the time passes phase, which means because we both have sapience advocates... We lose two cubes from our magical theory ethics. One for minus one time, one for sapience. So that means that I and you have both passed magical theory and ethics of the arcane. Uh, I have, because I've passed a class, a course, I get to draw a conjure card. So you and I both pass that, so we both get 20 points. So I'm going to go from 28 to 48 points, and you're going to go from 21 to 41 points. So that's there. I also completed my other two clubs that I had. So I completed the Disciplinary Tribunal. So that is going to be three additional points that I get there. So one, two, three, I'm at 51. And then I also completed the uh, Sapiens Advocates. So that's another four points that I get from that. So another four points is gonna put me at 55 points. All right. That's also the, well, this is also the last round. Wait, what? No, there's one more. Matt only has three courses done. Oh, uh, you're right. I'm sorry. I miscounted. Matt. Um, and they're saying your charm ability? Excuse me? Your charm ability. What do you mean my charm ability? They said, oh, you charm. Forgot about it. Uh, I've had an A plus in everything. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have forgotten about it, though. That would have been, you know. I've, I've actually been playing a little off. But, uh. I've, I'm so smart, I don't need to. Right, Yeah. No, I hate you. Okay, so it's time for the upkeep phase, right? So do you want to draw first? Uh, yeah. Okay, and don't forget hand limit. How much is hand limit? Six. Six? Okay. All right, so I'm going to draw my one pounder card here. Are you done? Oh, you're done with that stupid thing. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, so I am doing that. Choice phase. Did you already choose your choice? Yes. Choose your choice. Okay, so I'm good to go. Okay. What'd you choose? I chose Conjure. And I chose uh, Enroll. Okay, so I am Wand Bearer this turn. Excuse yep. me? All right. The Wand you... Bearer. The Wand Bearer, yes. I'm Wand Bearer this turn. I didn't hear what you said, yeah. So I am going to, these are my cards in play? Indeed they are. I'm going to discard, okay, I'm going to discard those two cards so that I can play that one. And you are playing Trick Wand. Wait, no, you don't have any, yeah, I don't have anything. Any, I don't have any classes or anything. It's a horrible time for you to play that card. It is a bad time. Okay, so I'm going to play this one. Uh, Duendi? Yes. The Duendi guides you to a secret place in the Forbidden Woods. The next time you finish a club, gain five house points and draw a new conjure card, then discard this card. 
Okay, so that's an equip card. And you would draw two conjure cards then, right? Or you only get conjure cards for completing uh, courses. Cla classes. Uh, courses. Courses. And then I'm going to play... What are you playing? Uh, I'm going to play my golem. You're playing the golem. It's a really cute chef golem there. Uh, you build a golem to help you finish your courses, plus grades or minus time to your courses equal to the number of cards you have to, in play. Yes. So I'm going to take the two time cubes off of Sapiens Advocates. Okay. So that... That is completed. This is worth four points. This is worth five points. If I go with an A and I get a conjure card, we have one more round. No, it, no. It depends on. I have to have. You have to have at least four clubs, including the magical ethics class, or two. four courses completed, including the magical ethics class, and t at least two clubs completed, and that triggers the end game. So I'm one completed course away from triggering that. Also, being the first to 100 points will trigger the end game as well. So I'm going to take one time off of Sapiens Advocates, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take one time off of Ritual Magic. Okay. I think I'm happy with that choice. So there's your golem. Thank you. And I'm going to play Herding Cats. So all players with cats, as their familiars, lose one grade in all of their courses. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's, that's a conjure card? It is a conjure I'm card. I'm playing my chuckle bar. I figured you would. So you're playing the Choco Bar Bar, Choco Choco Cabra. Choco Cabra. There we go. <laughs> a lot of Choco Cabra Bar makes everything a little better. Uh, play out of turn to avoid being affected by a Conjure or Magicola card. If the card would imp, why are you moving it? Because the bar is green screen uh, hardly. Uh, if the card would impact multiple players, you may choose to shield them with this card as well. So you don't get the crazy cat lady effect. Uh, I am now going to draw three courses or club cards. So I'm going to draw three course cards and see which one I like best. And then I get to draw a course or a club and I get the player to discard it. That is correct. Hmm. Uh, question, does Matt's conjure card let him play another one still? Oh, it might actually. Uh, you may play an additional conjure card this round. I cannot, though, because my other one is a powerful one. So, I, I could have been able to, but I am, alas, not able to. Okay, that works. So, I am going to... What class are you taking, Matt? Hold on. Hold on. Just organizing right now. I'm going to do the Magical Creature Care Anatomy and Ecology class. All creatures, great and small, cuddly and terrifying, powerful and pitiful, learn magical creatures, biology, diet, habit, magical uses, and defenses include sustainable harvesting and protection of endangered creatures as well as uh, poaching, trafficking, and dark uses. End game, plus two house points for each animal, course, or club. So that is in play. That's got five counters on it. All righty then. And I start with AAC in that class, correct? Yep. Very good. So, uh, and you get to pick up one card, uh, whether it be course or club, and play it. I picked up uh, Divination and Arithmancy. Okay. Arithmancy? Arithmancy. The yeah. art of div divining, foretelling, and interpreting using a variety of methods, including augury, tea leaves reading, astrology, dowsing, numerology, palm reading, tarot, and more. So at my end game, I get plus two house points for each moon or course or club completed. Very good. All right, so uh, that is the end of all of our action phases there. So it's time for the Magicola, Magiscola phase. So Anne, if you would be so kind. Okay. Please be kind. Oh, a little cactus kitty. Well-rounded recognition. The student with the most completed clubs scores five house points for their contributions to the Magiscola campus. If there's a, there's not a tie. So I get five points. How many clubs do you have, Matt? Three. Two, three, four, five. So I'm at 60. And how many does Anna have? 41. Well, she has one. Oh, one club. She has one club. I, I love the way these cards green screen. 
<laughs> it's a rainbow cat. There you go. Rainbow point cat. It's a really adorable cactus kitty, if you want. You see that, Anne? It's very cute. And that seems to be an, uh, like a, a continuing theme that I see there in these cards. Is there a backstory to Cactus Kitty, Mike? Um, we created a whole bunch of different kinds of cryptids. I mean, we took a lot from folklore. We took a lot from uh, legends and such. Um, and the Cactus Cats proved to be very popular. Uh, in the last uh, run of the LARP, we actually had uh, people... Um, with, uh, we actually just had a uh, Kickstarter for Cactus Cats plushes, um, but we, we had people make their own uh, plush Cactus Cats, and we had a cat sap, which was like an alcoholic beverage, uh, like Mezcal. Uh, they, they made jello shots with it. Oh, <laughs> tequila cat shots. <laughs> uh, so it is the time passes phase, so please remove one time. And my uh, common spells of the Magimundi is finally gone, so that goes away. That was a nice, nice card for me. Helped me out quite a bit. So, what am I doing now? It is time for the upkeep phase. Getting her points for her completing. Oh, you completed something. So what did you complete, Anne? I finished my Sapiens Advocates, which is a club that's given me four points for a completion bonus. So you're up to 45 points. And I completed Ritual Magic with an A, which gives me another five points. Okay, so you are at 50 then. Uh, because I completed a club and I have Duende out, I get five house points. Oof. So you're at 55. And so I get on. to draw a Conjure card. Then I discard this card. She caught up. I don't like that. So what's the points at right now? Uh, I'm at 60, and Anne's at 55. Whole whopping five points away. And I also get a Conjure card because I passed a course. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. My wife uh, made a lot of props for Magiscola. This is a cactus kitten that she made. Aww. That's adorable. That's adorable. Uh, so we do our upkeep phase now. So did you draw? I did draw. Okay. Interesting. Hold on. I'm trying to see what this is. Keep talking, Anne. What are you doing? Uh, I'm looking to see what you have to do in order to trigger the end game. You need to finish one more class. Uh, I would need to complete not only the class that I have on my uh, out on my hand, but I need to complete another. Cl no, I have got my two clubs, so I'd need to be able to complete two more classes. So a class that I have out plus I'd have to pull another class if I decided to do enroll. <clears throat> so I'm debating things. What are you thinking about? Oh, I'm I'm just thinking about what I want to choose for my choice action, my choice turn order. I think that you should give your cards to me because you just are so nice and caring. I just, uh, just do the study action for the rest of the game. Huh? Do the study action for the rest of the game. No, why would I do that? There's so much more fun to be had, though. Um. It's like the, the dueling rival students right now. She got, like, all of her last-minute coursework in, and all of a sudden she caught up. You could make a decision, you know. Have you made your decision mentally? I don't have to make a decision. Why? I just draw a card. Oh, I already made, drew my conjure card. And you chose which one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I've already got my decision for this then. Oh, no, I didn't. That's why I have these three or two in my hand. Yeah. Oh, that's... Okay. Yeah, I made my decision. Good talk. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you ready? Did you choose your action? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Who's a one bear? 
Human? Human? I am Wand Bear, yes. Yes, I am. Okay. All right, so I am doing the uh, study action. Really? Oh, you did too? That's really sweet. Uh, So I'm going to use this opportunity to remove three cubes from my sheet here. And you get the uh, routine effect from that. So I get uh, plus one or minus time. I'm going to increase my grade. So then I did the same thing for mine. So you get three. So I get three off. And then you get the routine effect from it. Yeah, so I'm going to up my grade to a B. You're not going to finish a class? With a C? <laughs> the face was really You so know what? Good. You know what? No. I am going to finish the class. Are you? Yeah, okay. because I have my charm ability. Uh, so when I complete a course, I may gain plus one grade in that course before scoring. So now I'll increase it to a B. Okay. And since I completed the class with a B, I am going to get two points. So one, two. And then I completed all my courses. So that means that uh, the game is now over, correct, Mike? Yeah, I finished the round. I have to fin- uh, yeah, finish the round? at the end of the round. So if Anne would uh, complete any courses due to time passes, or even Magiscola, then she would still get those. So you get the Magiscola card. I did that just in case the Magiscola screwed me over on the card. So I, I was... The, the Broken Song, all students with birds as familiar must lose three house points as they take their bird to the animal infirmary. Um, no one has a bird, okay. so no Magiscola effect there. So now it's time for time passes. You could have that. And the game's over! So, so Matt, you get five bonus points for uh, being the first one to complete your classes. Okay, so five bonus points will take me to 67 points. And then you um, do the final scoring, which is the set collection on the courses. All right, so I have uh, end game. You get plus two points for each (coughs) dark course or club that you completed. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's 10 additional points. So I'm at 77. And then I've also got, from the Magical Creature Care, Anatomy, and Ecology, you get plus two for each animal course or club that you completed. So I have one, two, three, four of those. So I get eight additional points for that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm at 85 points. Anne, how about you? I have six more points. Anne's got six more points. So she is at 61 points. We're super close to each other on the board, but not in point totals. Anne's got 61, and I've got 85. Good job. That was a lot of fun. Anyone bet? Yeah! I win! All right, so thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, This is going to be completing our playthrough spotlight section of uh, New World Magiscola House Rivalry. We're going to be doing our honest review section of the game in just a minute, where we talk about what we loved about the game, what may not have been our favorite parts, and then how it would fix it if we were given the opportunity to, you know, uh, constructive criticism there. But first, we're going to do a sign-off. We're going to do a little pause in there to collect our thoughts, and in that time, we're going to say goodbye to our lovely guest, Mike, for the evening. Uh, So, thank you all for joining us. This is Twist Gaming signing off for the evening. We would like to point out that this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by New World Magiscola House Rivalry, as well as Level 99 Games with uh, Melinda... I'm sorry, wasn't it Millennium Blade? Yeah. Millennium Blades. Oh, wait. Brain fart for a second there. Uh, so, Anne, did you want to talk to Mike at all about uh, anything else about the game? Or did you get that all off your chest in the beginning part? I think I think we went through a pretty good interview during the beginning. Are there any uh, parts of the playthrough game that you would like to uh, emphasize or point out or talk about? Um... Uh, I really liked how the cards, uh, the, the green screen were cards. <laughs> I, I feel like a rainbow edition is necessary now. Yes. Uh, so a couple of things. Uh, you may have noticed that some of the cards had a weird animal head on the bottom right of them. Those yes. are special cards that are for, um, Here. Uh, the animal expansion, uh, which is part of the Kickstarter if we hit the, if we hit the stretch goals. Um, there, uh, someone asked if there were two promo cards, uh, if there were pro- what the promo cards were, there are two of them, Mirthrope Weaving Arts 
and another course which is magical wellness. Um, uh, and congratulations, Matt. Congratulations. Woo! I'm the best. I wouldn't go that far. Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you all for joining us this evening, Mike. We really do appreciate it. It was a blast. Uh, and this is Twist Gaming signing off softly for now. Stay tuned for our Honest Review section. I'm Matt. I'm Anne. You're great to watch. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so Mike. Thank you so much, Mike. And goodbye, everyone. <laughs>